Hey guys, welcome to Feel the Dream, the channel that helps you feel your dream, whatever that dream is. On this channel, we talk all things fashion, finance, and entrepreneurship. So if that is something that you are interested in, please do click the subscribe button. On today's video, um, as you have seen on the title, we are going to be drafting and cutting a circular skirt. This is going to be a 360 degree skirt, which is a full circle um, skirt. I'm going to be using 1.2 meters of fabric, um, a measuring tape, a pair of scissors and chalk. Well, in my case, a piece of soap. And if you prefer working with a ruler, that is also perfect, but I won't be using one. So in order for you to be able to cut the circular skirt, you are going to need your waist measurement and your skirt length. This is um, the measurement from your waist going down to wherever you want the skirt to end. If you need a guideline on how to take your own measurements, I have a video and I will link it up on the screen somewhere. Please do check it out. The first thing we are going to do is fold this fabric in half like that. Fold it in half. And then you are going to fold it again like that. Make sure they align perfectly together on the corners or on the edges rather. And then you will notice that you have one layer on this side and two layers on this side. But altogether, we have four layers. One, two, three, four. Make sure you use the side that has the two layers and the side that has one layer. The other two um, sides each have four layers. We are not going to make use of those edges. We are going to start off with the most important part um, of this tutorial, which is um, the calculations. So for this part, which is going to be your waistline, we are going to have to calculate the radius. In order for us to be able to get the radius, we are going to need um, the circumference and we are going to divide it by two pi. One pi equals 3.14 meaning two pi equals 6.28. Our circumference is going to be the measurement of the waist. In this case, I'm using my daughter's measurements, which is 54. So I'm going to say 54 divided by 6.28, and that gives me 8.5. Let me just write it over here somewhere. It gives me 8.59. So I'll just make it 8.6. So now with the um, 8.6, I'm going to start measuring from this corner, this corner right over here. We're going to start measuring from here and we're going to measure the 8.6 from this corner to there. We're going to measure 8.6. Mine is right over there. And then again, from this corner to the center, 8.6. And then again, from this corner, going there, 8.6 again. And then try to fill in these little spaces as well. 8.6 from the corner, going down. 8.6, 8 8.6, 8 and 8.6. And then what we're going to do now is we are going to join. We are now going to join this together. Remember, we measured from this point. 8.6, this point, 
this point 8.6 basically from this point all around 8.6 and then join the two together and this is going to be your waist measurement and now from this line which is the radius that we've just drawn we are now going to start measuring the length my daughter's length is 36 centimeters sure excuse me for that noise um, I think it's the geezer but anyway we're gonna start measuring from this line going down once again all around my daughter's measurement is 36 so I'm gonna make it 38 because I want that extra two centimeter seam allowance as well so from this point going down 38 centimeters and then again Thirty-eight, 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 Um, so far, this is how our pattern and our fabric looks. So this is where we did our markings. We started marking from here, going down, and we took the um, skirt length measurement. So from here to there, it was 36, and we added two um, centimeters for seam allowance. And we are going to add one and a half from this point going out as well. That is also going to be... Um, the seam allowance for the waistline okay but firstly I'm going to join these lines together like that and then we're going to measure one other one inch actually one inch is too big we're going to measure two centimeters yeah We'll measure two centimeters like that. I'll measure it properly just now. I just want to show you where the two centimeters is going to go. So two, you're going to measure two from here, two from the waistline going out, two centimeters, two centimeters. So let me just do the actual calculation. Oh, it's actually two. Okay, so my measurement is actually Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we are just going to cut it out. Please note that I cut where the seam allowance is and not where the actual waist measurement is. Please cut on the new line that we created. And then we're also going to continue cutting that way. So now, this is how our full circle looks. We are going to open it up and then right on the center, this is where we are going to have our zip. So we're going to have to cut it open where the zip is going to go. There's two layers underneath we are only going to cut the top layer. Do not cut the bottom layer. Okay. 
I've now, so this is how, remember we've cut the one side. So I just folded the two together, the two sides, just to make sure they touch. And then this is where our original line is. This is where our original line is. You can continue to measure two centimeters from the edge going in just to get this new line that I just created. And then what you're gonna do now is you're gonna measure from this corner up to this corner, just to make sure that you got the right waist measurement. Measure all around, all around. You are going to measure. I get 29, so 29 times two is 58. Our original waist measurement is 54 centimeters. This is perfect because you now have an extra two centimeters for the zip allowance right over there on that edge. So this is where your zip allowance will be and it will be two centimeters long. I mean, yeah, two centimeters wide. So this is basically our full circle skirt. I'll put it on my daughter so that you guys can see how it looks. I have also cut a waistband to go with the skirt, but I will create a separate video showing you how to sew together the whole thing to make a skirt. Um, so guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If there's anything specific that you would like to see on my channel, please don't hesitate to tell me. And um, yeah, man, we've reached the end of the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Yeah. 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 So I got a pipe down. Need it.